Welcome back to Living 808, ladies and gentlemen. We have our friend Kori Chan Matsuyoshi. She is joining us here to talk about another edition of What's the Law? Kori Chan, how are you? Good to see you. Great. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, let's just get straight into it. Living it awake, you know, we're all about supporting small businesses here in Hawaii. Now, small businesses, as we all know, are the heart and soul of Hawaii and make up 99% of Hawaii's businesses, which I'm really proud to say. But often, people start businesses without understanding the legal requirements. Now, if you are thinking of starting a business, what is the most important thing that they should keep in mind, Coralie? So if you're thinking about starting your own business, the first thing you should do is to create a legal entity separate and apart from yourself. If you simply hang out a shingle and operate as a sole proprietor, you open yourself up to personal liability for anything that happens. For example, if someone slips and falls in your store or gets sick eating one of your cupcakes, you could end up losing your house. So forming a separate legal entity can give you peace of mind and protect your personal assets. So when you're first starting out, the easiest thing to do is to form a limited liability company. You can go online and find easy fill in the blank forms at the state DCCA website. And if you need some help, kind hearted volunteer attorneys offer free weekly consultations at the Patsy Mink Center for Business Leadership and the Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs Business Action Center. Perfect. That's also known as an LLC putting it for everybody who doesn't really know about the, the actual term out there. So LLC. <laughs> now, Courtney, right. are there any other important tips for small businesses that are just starting out? So one of the biggest mistakes is not checking to see if your business name or trademarks are available to use in the first place. And if they are, not protecting them from use by others. So you print all your business labels, your signage and your cards and someone sues you for infringement. Are there any other tips that you have for all of our viewers out there who are thinking about starting a small business? Another tip is be sure to do everything in the name of the company and not in your own name, like signing contracts or correspondence. If you are a limited liability company, be sure to include initials LLC after the company name or Inc. if you are incorporated. Also, some business owners don't keep separate accounts and records for business revenues and expenses, and instead they commingle them with their own personal accounts and records. Don't do that. Failing to take these precautions will weaken the liability protection of your business entity. In the rest of my three-part series, learn how to file a federal employer identification number and GET license, how to reduce your taxes, what kind of deductions you can take, and how to avoid employee problems. A lot of information to cover in this podcast. Now, are there any upcoming podcasts that you would like to mention to all of our viewers out there? Yes, find out what kind of reforms a Blue Ribbon Commission is proposing to address public corruption, increase openness and transparency and ethical behavior, and decrease the influence of money in politics. Also, new regulations for carrying firearms in public and other hot topics in the legislative session upcoming. Perfect. Coralie, always great talking to you. You guys, it's What's the Law. You guys can find more information on cage 2com You're amazing. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>